For more than a hundred years, the secretive Portendown facility has been on the UK's first line of defence against chemical and biological hazards. Now, the UK Health and Security Agency has opened its doors to the new Vaccine Development and Evaluation Centre to help develop new life-saving vaccines against something called Pathogen X. Pathogen X is a very generic term used to describe what might be the next pathogen inducing, uh, pandemic inducing pathogen, but it could come from something we know already. And just before I say so, uh, antimicrobial resistance, for example, is likely to cause millions more deaths as we go forward unless we do something about that. Usually the word pathogen X refers to a new, completely new emerging infectious disease. And we A, start to work on some of the likely ones before we hopefully get to that so we can prevent it and have uh, assays, tests ready to, to check for it in vaccines. Uh, but then secondly, we are standing ready to roll out new tests, develop them as soon as we have the viral material to, uh, or bacterial material to, uh, in our hands effectively to respond. There are 200 scientists working here, able to carry out 30 times more tests a week than they did before the COVID-19 pandemic. The aim is to develop vaccines against future illnesses within 100 days, rather than the 10 to 15 years that it used to take. This lab maintains a focus on COVID, cases of which are up again, but also illnesses such as Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, carried by ticks and recently found in the new forest. The public health risk is still very low, but a vaccine is being produced nevertheless. We also know that we currently face um, bigger threats than we've ever uh, faced before with increasing risk of new and emerging infectious diseases, including those of pandemic potential. But the, the fantastic scientific skills and expertise here will help us detect, uh, understand and control those most effectively. Uh, we know that the majority uh, of infectious diseases are climate sensitive and we are seeing uh, an increasing risk of uh, of vector-borne diseases, so those are, that are carried by mosquitoes. We've seen that, uh, for example, uh, infections such as dengue are increasing uh, very significantly, um, but also um, uh, urbanization changes in the way that we live, uh, rapid travel and, and, and trade mean that infections can spread very rapidly beyond where they originated. The new £65 million facility is part of the COVID legacy, which it's hoped will control new deadly threats before they wreak similar havoc.